We are gonna. Um, this is a great joy for me to uh, be together with Pastor Kim and the Korean congregation at Kevin City Church. Uh, I'm excited to uh, come together as one body and celebrate uh, communion together and a meal after service. <coughs> so I'm really excited about that. Um, listen, I was just today. I'm excited. I remember the first Easter uh, service I went to was in as a Christian was in North Carolina. <laughs> and my first pastor told me, "Did you hear the stone rolling away this morning?" Uh, no, I didn't hear this story. I didn't hear it rolling away. <laughs> but he was really excited. And he knew because he was excited, Jesus rose today from the grave. And we celebrate that with great joy. That today we can have eternal life. Because of what Jesus did for us. Yes, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just going to listen today. We're going to not take time to uh, do an offering. If you have a gift that you want to give this morning, there's a box in the back. Uh, please go out an envelope and put it back there. Um, but the next thing I want you to do is just turn around to meet your neighbor and say, I'm glad you're here this morning. And we know Jesus rose on that day to give us eternal life. And then a lot of us look at the future. We look at the hope that we have in the future, that the, the future resurrection. And someday in the in the future we're going to rise with Christ. We're going to be with Him forever and ever in eternity. It's kind of the future tense we look at in the future. It says, um, Jesus said, um, the death in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. How many look forward to that day? Amen. Amen. Uh, 
그 말을 기대하는 분들 많이 계시죠? So when we, when this corruptible puts on incorruptible, and this more mortal puts on immorality, then we shall be brought brought to pass. The, the saying will the saying will be brought to pass that death is swallowed up, and victory is ours. 네 고린도전서 말씀에 보면 이렇게 기록합니다. 이 썩을 것이 썩지 아니함을 입고 이 죽을 것이 죽지 아니함을 입을 때에는 사망을 삼키고 이기리라고 성경에 기록되어 있습니다. In Luke, Luke 20, 36 says, We are the children of the resurrection. So a lot of us have a future view that we're going to be with Christ someday. I love this guy. <laughs> I don't actually know where he said it, but it's good. <laughs> so today's sermon, today what we're going to talk about is what benefit do you have from the resurrection today? In your bulletin, there's a handout that gives you an outline you can go by. If you turn with me to Ephesians chapter 2, I'll read verses 4 and 5. But because of the great love for us, God, who in his rich mercy made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in his trans. Expressions. It is by grace you have been saved. 긍휼히 풍성하신 하나님 우리를 사랑하시기 큰 사랑을 인하여 허물로 죽은 우리를 그리스도와 함께 살리셨고 너희는 은혜로 구원을 받은 것이라. So the first point is deliverance from spiritual death. 첫 번째 어, 포인트는 저희가 기억해야 할 것은 영적 죽음으로부터의 구원입니다. When Jesus came out of the grave, believers were delivered from spiritual death. Right. Then that's when our new life began. We were made alive together with Christ, the resurrection from the grips of sin. We, when we receive this resurrection Savior in our heart, we begin the resurrection life. 예수님께서 부활하셨을 때 우리는 어, 영적인 죽음으로부터 부활을 한 것입니다. 우리가 예수님을 영접했을 때 그때 영적인 죽음으로부터 우리의 새로운 생, 어, 우리가 부활을 얻고 새로운 생명이 시작되는 것입니다. Just like Adam in his fallen state died spiritually, then began dying physically, so believers are resurrected for first spiritually, and then on our way we are made complete physically in the new resurrection. Adam이 먼저 영적으로 죽었고 그리고 그 육체가 죽었던 것처럼 우리도 영적으로 먼저 죽었고 우리의 몸이 죽을 것이므로 영적으로 우리가 먼저 살아야 하고 그리고 우리의 몸이 그 후에 부활해야 하는 것입니다. The second one, restoration for spiritual breath. Now, this is something maybe new for you, but just remember what happened in the garden. After Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared in the upper room and breathed on his disciples and said, Receive the Holy Spirit, John 20, 22. Then, this was the resurrection of what Adam lost, the restoration of what Adam lost in the beginning. The Bible explains that the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and he breathed into the, his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. 첫 번째 유익함은 영적 죽음으로부터 우리가 부활한 것이었고, 어, 두 번째 유익함은 어, 영적인 호흡의 회복에 대하여 이야기하고 있습니다. 예수님께서 마가의 다락방에서 제자들에게 이렇게 말씀하셨습니다. 요한복음 20장 22절에 보면 이렇게 말씀하셨습니다. 그들이 향해 숨을 내쉬며 이르시되 성령을 받으라. 바로 이 영적 호흡의 회복에 대하여서 말하고 있는 것입니다. After the rebellion, Adam and Eve lost the breath of life. They may have retained the breath naturally, but not spiritually. God does not breathe oxygen and or, or gas vapors. God breathed his breath, his very nature, his divine essence into Adam and Eve. 인간이 타락한 후에 아담과 하와는 하나님의 그 호흡을 잃어버린 것입니다. 어, 그들은 
인간의 그 자연적인 호흡을 갖고 있었지만 영적인 호흡을 잃어버린 것이고 하나님은 그들에게 생기를 불어넣어 주셨을 때 산소만 불어넣어 주신 것이 아니라 하나님은 그 실적 본질을 그 정수를 불어넣어 주셨는데 아담과 하와는 죄를 지음으로 그것을 잃어버린 것입니다. When Adam sinned, he lost divine breath in his spirit, so he could no longer live as an inspired life, full of divine wisdom, knowledge, and love. Jesus came out of the grave with his passion to restore this breath of inspiration, inspiration to the to breath, breathe into us the life-giving attributes of God. Character is God's character is images that make us a living soul once again. 아담이 죄를 지었을 때 그는 하나님께서 그에게 불어넣어 주신 신적인 하나님의 그러한 영적 호흡을 잃어버린 것이고 그렇기 때문에 하나님의 지혜와 지식과 그리고 사랑을 가지고 이 땅을 살수 없게 되었습니다. 그러나 예수님께서 무덤에서 다시 나오셨을 때에는 이런 하나님의 그런 영적 호흡을 우리 가운데 회복하기를 원하셨고 우리가 하나님의 그 성품과 Number three, justi justification and righteousness. Romans 4.25 reveals that Jesus was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. To be justified means to be legally acquitted of all guilt rec uh, and reckoned rec in righteousness just as if we were sinners. 네, 세 번째 부활의 유익. Let me say that again because I said that wrong. Just like we did sin. Thank you. Go ahead. 어, 세 번째 유익함은 우리가 끌었다함을 받은 것 그리고 공의가 회복된 것입니다. 로마서 4장 25절 말씀을 보면 이렇게 기록되어 있습니다. 예수는 우리가 범죄한 것 때문에 내주이 되고 또한 우리를 의롭다 하시기 위하여 살아나셨느니라 우리 죄 때문에 예수님께서 십자가에 달리셔서 돌아가시고 우리를 의롭다 하시기 위하여서 다시 부활하셨다라고 그래서 우리가 마치 죄를 짓지 않은 것처럼 하나님께서 이 죄의 문제를 해결하셨기 때문에 죄를 짓지 않은 것처럼 살수 있도록 하기 위하여 부활하셨다라고 말하고 있습니다. Psalms 103.12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. Now he has made us righteous, righteous in his sight, given us the gift of righteousness, and even named us, named us you and me, the righteousness of God in Christ. 네, 어, 자, 시편 103편에 보면 이렇게 기록되어 있습니다. 동이 서에서 먼것 같이 우리의 죄가를 우리에게서 멀리 옮기셨다라고 성경은 기록하고 있습니다. 그렇기 때문에 하나님께서 우리에게 어, 은혜로 의의 선물을 주신 것이다. 그리스도 안에서 의의 선물을 주신 것입니다. And also right now we can have hope, hope for the future. 소망을 가질 수 있습니다. 네 번째 유익함입니다. Um, Peter writes in 1 Peter 1:3, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope. To the resurrection of Christ Jesus from the dead. 네, 우리가 부활 사건을 통해 소망을 얻을 수 있는 것은 어, 베드로전서 1장 3절 말씀처럼 우리 주 예수 그리스도의 아버지 하나님을 찬송하리로다 그의 많으신 궁결대로 예수 그리스도를 죽은 자 가운데서 부활하게 하시고는 말미암아 우리를 거듭나게 하사 산소망이 있게 하시며라고 기록되어 있는데 우리가 부활하신 예수 그리스도를 통하여 우리에게도 산소망 우리의 몸이 부활할 것임에 대한 그런 소망을 가질 수 있는. At what time we had no hope without Christ in the world, Ephesians 2.12, then God gave us hope and joy as we believe in Jesus Christ, Romans 15.13. Hope is desire, married to its expectations. The, hope, the most hopeless scenario in the world is death. And we have no fear of that now because of the resurrection. 에베소서 2장 12절 말씀해 보면 세상에는 소망이 없고 하나님도 없다라고 이렇게 기록하고 있고 로마서 15장 13절을 보면 소망의 하나님이 모든 기쁨과 평강을 믿음 안에서 너희에게 충만하게 하사 성령의 능력으로 소망이 넘치게 하시기를 원하노라라고 기록하고 있습니다. 세상에는 죽음으로 인하여 소망이 없었지만 예수님께서 죽임을 죽음을 이기시고 사셨기 때문에 우리에게는 끝없는 소망을 가질 수 있는 이유가 있다. We also have, currently, we have, because of the resurrection, we have healing. We have healing from our spirit.
spiritual death, we have healing in our minds, we have healing in our spiritual bodies because what Jesus did for us. 영적인 죽음으로부터의 그 어, 치유가 있고 또한 우리 몸에도 치유가 있다. Jesus is the great physician, the healer. 예수님께서는 우리의 어, 좋은 의사 되십니다. 우리 Because of the, the crowns that he worn us had we have healing in our minds. We have healing in our bodies. We have healing in our spirits. 치유, 치유가 있고 그리고 우리의 어, 영적인 some day we'll have a new body and all sickness and diseases will be go, will, will go away. Yes? Are you excited about that? Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. No sickness and no disease. Just happiness, no pain in your back or in your legs or in your feet. Huh? Come on. Hallelujah. How many have pain in your body right now? Jesus said, I am the healer. I am the great physician. I can heal you. I will set you free from that pain. Amen? And I believe, how many believe that today? All right, the Lord responds, that's good. We believe that God can heal. So let's do this right now. Let's pray for physical healing for your bodies. 하나님께서 우리를 치유하시는 분이시니까 우리가 우리 몸에 있는 그 아픔들을 하나님 치유해 주세요. 라고 기도합니다. 하면 See, I believe 믿습니다. That Jesus paid the price for all our sicknesses and disease. 예수님께서 우리의 모든 아픔과 질병에 대한 그런 모든 대가를 다 치우셨습니다. I believe we're going to be pain free in the future, but we can be pain free right now. 네, 미래에도 우리가 미래에 우리가 받을 그 고난과 아픔에 대해서도 치료하셨지만 우리가 지금 받고 있는 질병도 예수님께서 다시. Amen. If you want, raise your hand if you want God's healing right now. 하나님의 치유를 원하시는 분이 있다면 손을 한번 높이 들어주시기 바랍니다. All, right. all, all these believers, I like this. All of us believe. So I'm going to pray that God heal you. Leave your hand up as if it's faith. 손을 들고 계시고. Come on. Reach up. Jesus reaching down. 예수님께서 여러분들 Come on. Grab his hand. Say, Jesus, <coughs> I need healing right now in my body. Heal my leg. Heal my mind. Heal my back. Heal my feet. Heal the pain in my lungs. Who has, who has stomach pain right now? In Jesus' name, you're healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God provided through the cross, we believe in the resurrection, our healing right now. Hallelujah. It, sometimes it becomes this simple. Just like when you first believed that Jesus rose from the dead and you accepted him as your Lord and Savior, I believe healing is the same way. You just have to simply believe. 우리가 예수님을 처음 영접했던 그러한 어, 믿음처럼 우리도 우리가 우리의 몸이 치유될 것을 같은 믿음으로 믿게 된다면 우리의 치유를 받을 것입니다. I pray to the Lord sometimes and ask Him to help my unbelief. 네, 가끔 저는 이렇게 하나님께 기도합니다. 나의 이 불신에 대하여서 So I can believe that God is a life-giving God that He said He was. He is. 하나님 우리 생명을 주시는 하나님이시기 때문에 우리가 there's a story in John chapter 5 verse 6 where the purple man trying to get into the pool of water to be healed and Jesus simply said to him be made whole I'm saying to you this morning be whole in Jesus name Amen. Amen. And um, the next one is peace. Jesus said, because, because of Jesus' resurrection, we can have peace right now. Peace in our life. After, 평강입니다. 여섯 번째 교육 강은. After Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to the disciples several times. And when he appeared to them, to them he said the first time, well, the first thing he said to them was shalom or peace. 
구하시고 제자들을 만났을 때 이렇게 말씀하셨습니다. Peace, Shalom이라고 말씀하셨습니다. And Shalom is is a greater meaning than peace that we can say in English and I don't know about Korean, but I guess it would be the same way. Go ahead. Yeah, Shalom은 한국말로는 또 어떤지 잘 모르겠지만 우리가 그냥 말하는 평화보다도 더 깊은 의미를 가지고 있습니다. Shalom means that you have peace. Shalom, 평화. That you have rest. 안식, welfare, 복지, health, 건강, wholeness, 온전한, happiness, prosperity in every area of your life. 명, so when you say shalom, you say more than just saying peace. It's a deeper understanding. Jesus was giving peace to their whole life, their whole situation. They were uh, upset and they were a little confused because Jesus now was gone and they're waiting for him. So they were uh, uh, a little uh, concerned, if you will. But Jesus walked into the room like he's going to walk into your life. Now he's going to walk into every situation. And he's saying to you, to you this morning, peace or shalom. Isaiah 53, 5 says, The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Things that happened at the cross, before the cross, and, and on the cross, so that you can have peace, not only in the future, but peace right now. Have you ever gone through a really troubling situation in your life? And it's hard to make a decision. Maybe something at work, or maybe it's something at your home. And when I can get through that, when I'm in that situation, I have to take a moment, take a deep breath, and receive the peace of God in that situation. And sometimes the situation is still there. But in my heart, I have peace from God. To be able to deal with that situation. See, God wants you to have peace now. Amen. How many want God's peace? Hallelujah. Also, the number seven on your handout, it says, in 2 Corinthians, it's, it's called daily renewal. Now, I wrote a whole bunch of stuff on here, but I just want to tell you this. God is renewing us moment by moment, day by day, if we will allow him to. Amen. 네, 일곱 번째 유익함은 하나님께서 우리 삶 가운데 항상 새롭게 하시는 그런 은혜를 말하고 있습니다. 여러분들 원하시면 지금 여러분들의 삶을 새롭게 하시는 하나님의 은혜를 경험할 수 있습니다. I believe God knew we needed His renewal daily. We even have an example in the Old Testament when the children of Israel had to gather manna every morning. And, and we know that manna represents the Word of God. So I want to encourage you. Smile at me. I want to encourage you to daily be in the Word of God. Because I believe all the things that we talked about today will happen when we spend a little bit of time with our Heavenly Father. 네, 오늘 어, 우리가 계속 살펴보고 있는 그 말씀이 바로 하나님과 우리가 시간을 보낼 때 우리에게 주시는 하나님의 은혜입니다. Ephesians tells us about the weapons of our enemy. 네, 에베소서에 보면 하나, 하나님 어, 우리의 적들이 가지고 있는 무기에 대하여 But tells us to put on the full armor of God. 전신갑주를 입으라 라고 말씀하시죠. So we can fight against the enemy. 그래서 우리가 우리의 적들을 싸울 수 있게 하시기 위하여 And I truly believe I truly believe that we put on an armor every day that we have victory over the enemy. Amen. 
Because Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. 이사야 54장 17절에 보면 이렇게 기록되어 있습니다. 너를 치료고 제조된 모든 연장이 쓸모가 없을 것이라. 할렐루야. Just like Jesus had victory over death in the grave. 예수님께서 그 무덤에서 승리를 We, we can walk in victory. 우리도 날마다 승리 안에 걸을 수 있습니다. Every day. 매일 매일 승리 안에. Amen. How do you want to be victorious every day? Let's be honest, how many don't walk in victory every day? You kind of have it some rough days. Let's be real, okay? I'm going to take out my ties, is that okay? I only wore this because I thought Pastor Kim was going to wear one. But we're fighting a fight right now for your souls and for the souls of this world and this community. 우리가 지금 우리의 영혼을 위하여 싸우고 있고 우리의 커뮤니티 가운데 많이 영혼을 위하여 싸우고 The enemy of God is here to kill you and kill the world around us. 하나님 저는 우리를 죽이려고 하고 우리의 세상 가운데 많이 How many believe that today? 믿으십니까? Yes. He's here to destroy you. He's here to take your soul. He's very. He's here to take the very essence of your life and take your focus off of God. 우리의 그 적들이 원수마귀가 우리가 하나님으로부터 집중하지 못하게 하고 우리를 죽이려고 삼키려고 기다리고 있다라는 것입니다. And he wants you to have victory. 그러나 하나님께서 우리가 승리하기를 원하십니다. In every area of your life. 삶의 모든 영역 가운데 우리가 승리하기를 원하십니다. Now let's go back to Ephesians chapter two, verse four, and I'm gonna read the next verse of six. We have ultimate victory and total dominion over everything that's in this world because of Jesus Christ. But go ahead. Ephesians 2:4-5절까지 이제 읽었는데 6절까지 계속해서 살펴보면 우리가 하나님 안에서 완벽한 세상을 향한 승리와 통치가 있다라는 것을 가지고. We have ultimate victory and total dominion right now. 우리에게는 궁극적 승리와 완벽한 세상을 향해 대한 지배가 통치가 우리에게 있다라는 것입니다. I remember singing this song. Sorry. It was in Victory in Jesus. And we used to sing our opening song every service. As a reminder that we have victory every day in Jesus Christ. Not by our own ability, but only through Jesus. Amen. How many believe that? Say amen. Hallelujah. And you have that right now. It's not a future thing that we can hope for. I, I believe it's exciting to think that we're going to be with Jesus someday. And that can happen at any moment. But we can walk in victory today. Because what Jesus did for us. He arrived, he rose from the dead. He gave you victory. Amen. Amen. Alright, let's read let me read Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 6. But God, who is in rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you are saved, have been saved, and he has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 궁률이 풍성하신 하나님이 우리를 사랑하신 그큰 사랑을 인하여 허물로 죽은 우리를 그리스도 함께 살리셨고 너희는 눈에로 구원을 받은 것이라 또 함께 일으키사 그리스도 예수 안에서 함께 하늘에 앉히시니 할렐루야. To be raised up to sit together with Christ is to be enthroned with Him in a position of power, authority, rest, victory, and dominion. 우리와 함께 일으키사 그리스도 예수 안에 함께 하늘에 앉히셨다라는 것은 우리가 예수 그리스도와 함께 힘과 권세와 안식과 승리 그리고 그 통치를 함께 예수님과 누릴 수 있다라는 것입니다. He has made our enemies our footstool, and all things are under His feet, and now all things are under our feet as well. 예수님께서 우리의 적들을 우리의 발등상 만드셨고 모든 것이 예수 그리스도의 발 아래 있으며 또 모든 것이 우리의 발 아래 있다라는 것입니다. 
This is the restora uh, restoration of the dominion of Adam and Eve lost in the beginning. And this speaks of the absolute victory over every negative uh, thing we face in this world. Not just historically, but we are now justified through Christ Jesus. This is the victory we have over the world. We have victory over death. Put a smile on your face. You have victory over death today. Amen? Yeah. Think about it. What do we fear the most? We fear death. We have victory over that. So today, being the day the resurrection of Jesus Christ as we celebrate, I want you to remind you that we are delivered from spiritual death. We are restored with spiritual breath from God. You are justified by Jesus' blood. We have hope that comes from the Lord. And we can receive our healing today. Shalom. Shalom. Peace over every situation in your life. And we continue to we continue to receive power when we renew we're renewed with him daily. And I want you to think about this before we close and I challenge you a little bit. You have ultimate victory over every situation in your life. You have ultimate victory over every situation in your life. If you believe, if you simply believe, you don't have to, you don't have to earn it, you don't have to prove it. You just have to simply believe in it. That Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Amen. Let's do this. I want to challenge you this morning. Everybody just, would you just close your eyes? Yeah. Just close your eyes. Uh, before we have dinner, we're just going to read out of 2 Corinthians 